Hey guys, just here. I'm back with another 20 minute motivator. So I am reorganizing my ephemera, uh, my die cuts. Um, uh, I've, I've decided to change up my system. And my current system is these little envelopes, which I do really love. So I'm, I'm don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to do them all or not right now, but um, basically I have run out of room for my thickers. And so I picked up a couple of these bins from Ikea and I've added the rest of my 12, six by 12 thickers and stickers to two of these. And so I needed a space to put them so I put, I've taken all my ephemera off the top of my embellishment buffet cart and I've added those to the top of my embellishment buffet. And so I've been wanting to kind of explore other options for ephemera anyway. Like I said, not that the system hasn't worked for me, but um, I've been dabbling in the binder system. And so I thought I would take some of the uh, collections that I've kind of used a little bit of or that, I don't know, I'm not gravitating towards like the random bits and bobs and, and add them to the binder system and see how I like it before I go in and add like all my main collections to it. Now my binder system is not by color. I've essentially have just been filling out the pages with random ephemera and I literally can flip through it and I'll show you. So I know some people do it by color, um, but right now I've kind of just, like this is kind of all like tags and labels, but I've, it's kind of been random, honestly. And this is what I had. And so far, much like my chipboard binder, I really am liking the system because it is so easy to like flip through and see what you have so easy um now i did adhere these with um some adhesive just a little strip of it so when you go to take it off it will rip a little bit of the cardstock but not a big deal because you're just going to be re-adhering it to your layout anyway i did try removable and it didn't work they wouldn't stick so like these first two sheets are removable so they're they're not on there very tightly so when I go to pull out this this first sheet it's probably going to they're probably half of them are going to fall off um this is just a regular um eight and a half by eleven binder from Dollar Tree just really inexpensive like I said I was just kind of trialing out this system but I have so thoroughly enjoyed the chipboard binders. I also enjoy my binders with my tiny alphas and my tiny words and my puffy stickers. Like I just love flipping through and looking at all my product in a binder. I just have been really enjoying it. So I thought the next step was my die cuts. And so I'm kind of easing into it. <laughs> I've done a little bit already, but I thought we would chat tonight and I would do a little bit more so as you can see here um, I did get a bit a collection on this page and I really like it I can see all of it right here not that I don't mind like rifling through or like sifting through embellishments I don't mind that at all and as you see my I have other systems in which I just keep embellishments in a container and it works really well so this is kind of like a mix of everything and and basically all these die cuts are don't have a collection they're with like they're leftovers or separate packages that I purchased and so um, unless they're themed or with a collection they're just they're in these little in these little baggies which is this great this has been an awesome system but like I said I just I'm ready for something new so we're gonna try it and see how I like it and we're gonna go from there so I hope you'll join me in the next 20 minutes we'll just kind of create some um die cut pages or a, i almost want to call it a sticker book because that's kind of what it's like um 
we'll just create a sticker book together and maybe this will inspire you to do something similar or maybe you already do this system I know I posted this in the craft room cleanup group and a lot of you do this system and you really enjoy it there's been some wonderful helpful tips about how to organize them I'm really taking that into consideration so thank you all for your feedback but for those of you who this is new um, let's jump on in and, and and do this together so I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer for 20 minutes and here we go. So I'm sure you guys are very much the same way but like my craft room is like always evolving. I'm always looking to change it up, bring, make it more efficient, like it's, I, I don't want to say I get bored with it but I kind of get bored with it. Like, I just want to see if I can find a better system. Um, and so I've been doing this, this baggy system for some time. And like I said, I love it. It works great. But given that I'm running out of room for other product and that I've enjoyed the binders for everything else, I just figured, why not? Let's, let's just roll with it and see how it goes. So actually this is all chipboard. So I'm just going to go ahead and start sticking some stuff down. So if you guys do do this system, um, I'd love to hear from you. Any tips or tricks or your experiences, your likes, your dislikes. You guys are fantastic and I love, I love getting your feedback. And I love that there's so many different ways to organize product. But like I said, my favorite thing about this system is that you can see everything at a glance. Um, and you don't spend as much time like sifting through. Even though it's, I don't know, I don't mind looking through it either. Again, I'm just kind of, I was bored with it and wanted to try something new. So here we are. And you know, I have a lot of new product that I haven't even opened yet so those are going to stay in those packages and I'll work through this here and I'll I'll have an opportunity to, to decide if I like this system or not so nothing has to be permanent you know if you don't like it you just use it up and then know that you know you need to find a different way to store trial and error you know so you find something that sticks. But I'm really excited about this system because I feel like the binders are gonna be super easy to pack for a crop. And my whole, my whole purpose, or my whole, my whole, I don't know, what am I trying to say here? When I go to crops, I purposely take my stash and I try not to take like new product or new collections. I try to take my older stuff and I use the crop to really challenge myself to work through that supplies because I'm not in my craft room. I don't have access to all the new pretty, new pretty stuff. And so I'm kind of in a way forced to use my older collections, um, which I find I really enjoy the challenge. So, and it, it really helps me get creative. And, um, so that so I feel like this binder system is really going to help me achieve that goal and I'll actually be able to bring a lot more of my stash because basically if you look at this right this is I mean this is not all full but these baggies take up a lot of room and so I wouldn't be able to bring as much as if they were all in this one binder so this really consolidates the amount of space in real estate the ephemera takes up in your craft room. And I know in the past there's been um, a lot of comments, you know, on my various organization videos where um, ladies have said just that, be like, I love your organization system, but I just don't have the room. And so I think a binder system is a really fantastic alternative. I love these tulips. This is a creative memories collection, I think, and I just love these. <laughs> They're so pretty. Um, the binders are really a great 
organization system. Fabulous organization system. Because it does not take up a lot of space, but you can pack a lot of product into a binder. I can't tell you how much I already have in this one. Sorry guys, my f footage cut out there. Um, so anyways, what I was saying was that the um, these binders just really give you a lot of bang for your buck in regards to storage. So if you haven't tried this system yet and you're finding that your chipboard, your stickers, your die cuts, your alphas, oh I don't want to do that yet, um, are taking up a lot of real estate, maybe it's time you consider a binder system. I tell you, I'm really loving it so far. Really digging it. Um, and I'd love to hear from you guys, like, what are some of your other favorite organization systems? Like, what is your favorite way to store your products that you currently own? I'd love to hear, comment below, some of your neat, maybe uh, unique or unconventional organization methods. I'd love to hear. And maybe it's something I haven't heard of before and I can give it a try. I feel like um, ephemera has always, embellishments in general have kind of always been the most challenging for me trying to find like the perfect system. Papers, paper to me is like really quite simple. Um, I haven't really changed that system up at all. Kits are easy for me as well. Um, I feel like I have a pretty good system for that too. But it's just ephemera that I just feel like I struggle with so much. All right, so I actually um, use one cardstock piece per side because when you go to like lift out the papers from the sleeves, um, I don't want to fight with catch anything catching. So, and it gives a little more. Um, it makes it a little more snug in the page protector too. So, but you can use one of the sheets and go double-sided. Um, but yeah, you, embellishments really has always been the biggest challenge for me. So what product in your craft room challenges you the most? You know, stamps, I have a good system. Everything else, like, like I said, my my alphas and my thickers, I feel like I have a good system now for those. So it's just really embellishments for me are the most challenging. And I've had like all my different systems have worked out really well, but like I said, it just, it wasn't perfect. Um, or I didn't love it. It was working, but I felt like I could do better, so that's why I'm constantly changing my systems till I find like that perfect system. Because I just get bored with it and I'm like, there's got to be a better way to do this. These flowers are cute. So yeah. So here we are, trying something new, right? <laughs> And what else are you guys working on? Are you doing some, uh, continuing to organize your craft rooms? And if so, how's that coming along? Are you making good progress? Do you feel good about it? Are you, you know, are you having some challenges with your space? Are you kind of like me and having a hard time just getting in your craft room? Not because it's clutter, but just because life is so busy because that's really been my MO lately. <laughs> I haven't had a lot of creative time um, just because I've been so busy and my crafty times at night. 
and being outside all summer we've been enjoying the outdoors it really just um, the sunshine feels good but it wears you out too we've doing, been doing a lot of yard work and like little day trips and just having a grand old time so I definitely get a lot more scrapping done in the cooler months so it's been a little I've been a little quiet on the creative side of things just because like I said we've been so busy otherwise all right isn't this awesome like look how great this is all right so, so I just gotta got a couple of big pieces so I'm gonna tuck this in to the sleeves And it does take a little finagling to get them in because sometimes the pieces will catch on the outside of the protector. But once you get, get them in there, they're good. And there we have it. So now I get like a full view of this entire collection. And it's such a small space, small real estate, which I love. I absolutely love. And these binders fit beautifully on your, you know, your calyx unit or even on a bookshelf if that's what you have. You can label the spine so you know exactly what's in there. You could even have, you know, a binder per manufacturer. Like if you have a lot, like I have a ton of cocoa vanilla. I have a lot of um, pink paisley. I have a lot of um, crepe paper. So I, I, I've been contemplating, you know, do I, do I make a, a binder like solely dedicated to manufacturers. So again, I'm, I'm kind of trying to get a feel for this system and using it for the collections that, I dare I say are not my favorite or like I don't gravitate towards, so I'm okay with like testing them out, if that makes any sense. And the random bits and pieces so let's see here so I'm gonna go in and grab all of these random ones that I have and I have a ton a ton a ton a ton so like I said this is just a really great way to stress test this system make sure you like it before you commit to commit to all your product you know what I mean um, oh I've got oh, that's all yeah all right so we still have quite a bit if you guys do use this system I would love to know like do you organize it by theme or by color um, like how do you organize your binders so as you can see here I'm just kind of putting my different collections on uh, together on on one sheet and so which to me I think that makes the most sense because they all kind of coordinate but it's so easy to flip through that I can easily look through everything in this binder and pick out different coordinating pieces as I find them and they're going to work for the layout I'm creating. So again, the versatility is awesome. I just love it. And again, it kind of reminds me of like a kid. Did you guys have those um, 
like Lisa Frank sticker books where you could like collected all the Lisa Frank stickers or just a sticker book in general. I did that when I was a kid and this kind of reminds me of it. <laughs> Bringing back some of those childhood memories which is fun. Very very fun. So yeah, and I've been just, I don't feel like this goes, um, I've been just really chipping away at organization when I have time in my room. Um, I've been doing a little bit of creating, but not as much as I had planned on, so I'm really trying to, um, it's not like I've lost my mojo, it's just, or my creative flow, it's just, I've just been so tired, like, that when I'm tired I'm not creative, or like I just don't have the energy to create, so I'm really trying to like, get a, a, a rhythm in my day so that I hopefully will get back to having more time and energy to craft at night. Because having my four-year-old, it's impossible to do anything um, when he's up and about. Like, I can't, it's rare that I can get any crafting done. <laughs> so I wait till he goes to bed. Yeah, so other than that, we've been busy. We are planning a trip to Florida in October. Um, we're just going to stay at a villa. We're not doing Disney or anything yet. Um, we feel like it's kind of too soon to to go to like any big theme parks or anything like that. So I think we're going to kind of take it slow and just go somewhere warm for a little bit and relax, change the scenery. and. We're actually going to drive, so that's going to be an interesting adventure with the kids. Um, we, we will be able to take our time, which will be good. So it's about, I think, an 18-hour, I think it's an 18-hour drive from Maine to Florida. So I think the plan is to, um, you know, maybe... Uh, stop in like Virginia or like halfway and do a little sightseeing and then before we get back on the road so I'm really looking forward to that I think that'll be fun it's our first big trip um, as a family we do a lot of little local trips so it's not like we don't travel but it's only been like four hours you know we'll go to Vermont and Massachusetts Connecticut all up here in New England we, we do those things a lot so now we're doing like a like a bigger trip. So I, I'm looking forward to it. I think it will be fun. It will be really fun. It's just the car. Oh, timer's up. It's been 20 minutes. Holy moly. So I am just going to... Um, I've got a lot of packs here. I don't know. I'm going to think I'm going to go through... Or I'm going to add one more. And then we're going to call it a night. Um, and I can pick this up. I do a lot of this... A lot more of this off camera. So... Actually, no, we're just going to finish this set. Because you guys get the gist. You kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, and that way, <laughs> you guys aren't sitting here watching me stick all of these to paper all night long. But yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to uh, the adventures we're going to have. The car ride's going to be interesting, so we're definitely, you know, trying to pack a lot of activities and make sure the kids are comfortable um, for the long ride. So that will be interesting. But um, they're pretty good passengers overall on the other trips we have, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. You know, be able to do some sightseeing hopefully along the way. I'm just, just kind of looking forward to it. It'll be fun. So hopefully, um, if all things continue to go, you know, stay well in regards to like COVID and it doesn't change, we'll be heading down there. So we're really looking forward to that. We hope it sticks. But other than that, we've just been doing a lot of little local trips, like to the beach and um, 
swim days at the in-laws at their pool and seeing family. Nothing too crazy. We did take Wyatt to go see um, the monster trucks that came up here locally because he loves his monster trucks. And um, the crowd was crazy. I was a bit, I, I mean, my husband and I were overwhelmed with how many people were there. Um, so we got there way too early. We didn't realize, like, the show didn't start until 2 and we got there when the gates opened which was 11 so we were able to get there we got pictures with the monster trucks and um Wyatt got some memorabilia and then we're like all right buddy let's go you know find a seat so we can you know wait for the monster trucks to come out and he was just like I don't want to he's like I'm ready to go home he, he was like getting really anxious I think because of all the people and so we ended up calling it a day, which was kind of a bummer, but, you know, I get it. Like, it, you know, he's not used to events like that. He's not used to crowds. And so, um, you know, we did get some pictures and some memories. So hopefully maybe next year <laughs> he won't be so intimidated and he'll want to stick around. Because I really think he would have enjoyed, like, the event. But, um... You know, it wasn't it wasn't expensive. It was, you know, fun to just experience as a family, even though we were only there for the beginning part. So yeah, just a little fun few things, little adventures each weekend. But I hope you all are well. I hope you like this idea. Again, like leave a comment below if you do do the binder system, and I'd love to hear what you like and don't like about it. And uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to go off camera and kind of continue working through this and I'll give you guys an update once my binder is full. And I'll probably do a follow-up video in a few weeks to let you know how I'm liking the system. So thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. I hope it was motivating and inspiring to you and you accomplished something uh, right along with me for the past 20 minutes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night. Bye.